Hello my friends, it's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we're going to talk about fixed blade knives. What type of fixed blade knives? Well, we're going to talk about some knives that I think would be great out in the field on camping trips, hiking trips, bushcraft type tasks, all that good stuff. It's a question that I've been getting a lot, and I've made videos on what I think like my favorite fixed blades are and stuff like that, but I think it's too like varied. Ooh, you guys almost just fe fell over from the wind. I think it's too buried in my channel for a lot of people to find. So I'm gonna try to label this correctly and hopefully people will be able to find it. I'm gonna have to lower you guys cause you're gonna blow away. So basically what we're gonna talk about is four of my favorite fixed blade knives that I have in my collection that I've used and that I've taken on hiking trips and camping trips and day hikes, all that good stuff. So to start off, if you don't want to hear a long video, in my opinion, from my use, a Kephart style knife in a steel like Nitro V is really good for this type of thing. So this is a mini a mini Kephart from John at BGM Knives in Nitro V Steel. This is absolutely one of my favorite blades from him. And for an all around bushcraft knife, this is really, really good. Uh, it's sturdy, it's durable, it's um, really slicey because it thins out at the end. It's just an all around fantastic blade if you need something that can do everything while you're camping. You're food prep and you're cooking, you're whittling, uh, some batoning, maybe some digging, anything that you need it to do, a Kephart style knife is really good at that. Even drilling because you have that tip. So if I had to recommend anything out of all of the knives I'm going to show you, um, a, a Kephart style knife, whether it's uh, hollow ground or full flat or what have you, that's definitely one of my favorites. And Nitro V is a fantastic steel to use. But let's look at a few other options in case you're looking for something bigger or with a different grind or in a different steel. So a beefed up version of the Kephart in a sense is the Spade from BGM Knives. So this is a mini Spade in 80 CRV2 steel. And this is kind of just, like I said, a, a beefed up version. We have a taller blade this way really really thick and heavy duty this is a great blade for uh camp cooking because you have that tall slicey rocking blade shape for camp cooking tasks but you can also baton a lot of shit with this <laughs> it is just so beefy and i really like the the straight design this is very it is like a very inline straight knife so a really cool option if you're looking for something a little beefier. I wouldn't recommend any type of tool steel or carbon steel or anything for um, bushcrafting and being outdoors for multiple days if you don't know how to take care of it because it's very tough, it's very reliable, but it's also prone to patina and rust and stuff like that. So if you don't know how to clean off your knife and take care of it while you're out in the bush, maybe you should get a stainless knife. But the reason a lot of bushcraft knives are made in tool steels and stuff is because they're very tough. But they will patina, they will rust. And I'm going to show you a prime example of that right now. This is an absolutely stunning piece from Mitch Mitchell at Native Survival Gear. So this is made by LT Wright, but this is Mitch Mitchell's design that he drew up. So he... I think he was either second place or he won the alone show. I want to say he was second place though, um, or third, something like that. But if he won, forgive me. Um, either way, he was, he made it very, very far in the series. And this is a knife that he ended up creating after, uh, LT Wright made it, but he designed it. It's a very large kind of like Puko Mora style, uh, bushcrafting knife. And this is his version of the ultimate knife for camping and uh you know multiple days of being out in the woods uh this one has a very long handle so this is like a huge huge knife very long and it almost looks like a, a an oversized steak knife to me a little bit 
Um, so if I choke up on it, I've got a, a, over an inch of handle left. But that leaves a lot of room for different types of grips for all of your camp tasks. And the Scandi edge is really good for woodworking. This one is absolutely stunning. This one I've butchered game with. I have a series of photos on my Instagram from um, a bait and trap project that I did. And um, this was able to butcher some, some rabbits really nicely. This has much thinner stock than the rest of the knives in this. 90 degree spine, really good if you're gonna do uh, any ferro rod work if you're gonna have a fire steel with you um, but yeah so this it has a really good patina but the the camera probably isn't gonna pick it up because this front-facing camera doesn't work as well you can see a little bit of it there absolutely stunning piece and very very useful Scandi grinds definitely have their, their place too. And especially with one, if you have a knife like this that's this thin with a Scandi, it will be able to do uh, more like slicey food prep type stuff just fine. A lot of people say that Scandies are really for like woodwork and th they are. But if you get one, if you get a knife with a Scandi grind that's this thin, you can absolutely do uh, batoning and food prep and all that good stuff with this because I have done it. And the last one that we have here is one that I don't quite know if you can get anymore because it's the Vault series from LT Wright. However, it, there are knives that look like this. Um, the Bark River Bushcrafter, I believe it's called, is very reminiscent of this. So if you're looking for something of this style, you, you can find something. Uh, so this is the LT Wright Vault 4. This is the knife that I took to Acadia National Park with me for like five days and did a camping trip. And this did everything. It did batoning, tons of batoning. It did camp cooking and food prep. It did um, a lot of woodwork, uh, you know, s'mores sticks and um, different little stakes and uh, whittling spoons and even at one point like a little spatula flipper thing for cooking. This one's in A12 steel, tool steel. And the good thing about that steel is that it's basically indestructible and it holds an edge forever. So uh, this knife, I didn't sharpen once on the trip and I used it all day every day and it was still able to cut when I got home. It, it was doing like messy cuts, like it wasn't clean slicing paper, but it was definitely it was still a good working edge. And I also really like how uh, like skinny this handle is. Sorry that you guys are blowing around here, but this handle is like very skinny and super ergonomic. And then you have that beautiful, beautiful blade with a good amount of length on it. But this one is like, I feel like it's very, very uh, utilitarian in the design. Like there's really not much to it. And it's like, I'm not sure what it wouldn't be able to do. These are all nice and clean and shiny because I, I cleaned them and I oiled them up to put them in their sheaths the other day. So that's why they're like so shiny on the camera. They're covered in KPL. But look at that. Really useful, beautiful knife. So those are just a few options. Uh, those are some knives that I've actually used and tried out and, uh, you know, put through some testing stuff. And um, they just work, guys. They, they're, really, they're really good designs. Um, they're not, they're not going to be, like, the best of the best, you know. Uh, that's all personal opinion. But these are fantastic knives that work very well for, uh, you know, your adventures, your adventure days. So, um... Yeah, check out John from BGM Knives and check out LT Wright Knives. Uh, LT Wright is a, a bigger operation than John, so they can pump out many more knives on a more consistent basis than John can. 
but if you're looking if you want to take the time to like wait and be patient and get something personalized like a bgm knife um i i highly recommend it because he makes really really good stuff so uh check out both of those makers again that's bgm knives and lt right knives great stuff um that's all i have for you today i love you guys go use your shit get outside and i will see you on the next video